When it comes to alternative fuels, ethanol is one of the most popular options. E85 is a blend of 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline, and it can be used in vehicles that are compatible with it. In some cases, people may be wondering if they can use regular gasoline instead of E85 in their vehicles. We will explore the differences between regular gas and E85, as well as whether or not they can be mixed. What is E85 gas? E85 is a fuel blend that contains 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. It is commonly used in flex fuel vehicles, which can run on either E85 or gasoline. E85 is available at many gas stations across the United States. Ethanol is a renewable fuel made from plants like corn and sugarcane. When burned, it releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, but it also captures carbon dioxide during growth. This makes ethanol a carbon-neutral fuel. Flex fuel vehicles are designed to run on both E85 and gasoline. They have special engines and fuel systems that are compatible with ethanol. Many people choose to use E85 because it is a renewable fuel and it reduces our dependence on oil. It also has a lower carbon footprint than gasoline. However, E85 can be more expensive than gasoline, and it can be difficult to find in some areas. What are some pros and cons of using E85? There are several pros and cons of using E85. The pros. E85 is a renewable fuel made from plant materials such as corn. It helps reduce emissions and improve air quality. It's a cheaper fuel than regular gasoline. The cons. Not all cars can run on E85. Be sure to check with your car manufacturer before using it. The engine may start knocking and pinging if you use too much E85. Try to stick to a 50-50 mix of E85 and regular gas for the best results. E85 has less energy than regular gasoline, so your car may not perform as well if you use it instead of regular gas. Using E85 can damage the engine if it's not used in the right proportions or if the car isn't designed to run on it. What does a flex fuel vehicle mean? A flex fuel vehicle, FFV, is a car that can run on a blend of ethanol and gasoline, or on pure ethanol. The ethanol can be either from corn or from other plant materials. All new cars come with an engine management system that adjusts for any blend of ethanol and gasoline. This means that you can use any combination of the two fuels without having to worry about damage to your car. Most FFVs are able to run on blends of up to 85% ethanol, but check with your car manufacturer to see what the maximum limit is. Using a higher percentage of ethanol than your car is designed for can cause problems like engine knocking and pinging. A flex fuel vehicle is a great way to reduce emissions and save money on fuel costs. Just be sure to mix the two fuels in the right proportions and you'll be good to go. How do flex fuel engines work? Flex fuel engines are able to run on gasoline, ethanol, or a mixture of both. The engine can automatically adjust the ratio of ethanol to gasoline based on the fuel available. The sensors in the fuel system monitor the ethanol content and send a signal to the engine computer. This signal tells the computer how much ethanol is in the fuel and how much power the engine needs. The computer then adjusts the air-to-fuel ratio and other engine parameters to ensure optimal performance. If there is no ethanol in the fuel, the engine will operate just like a regular gasoline engine. If there is more ethanol than gasoline in the fuel, the computer will increase the amount of ethanol that is injected into the cylinders. If there is less ethanol than gasoline in the fuel, the computer will decrease the amount of ethanol that is injected into the cylinders. Flex fuel engines can run on any ratio of ethanol to gasoline, from 100% ethanol to 0% ethanol. Flex fuel engines are available in many different engine sizes and configurations. They can be used in cars, trucks, vans, buses, and other vehicles. Does regular gas have ethanol in it? The short answer is yes, most regular gas has ethanol in it. The percentage of ethanol in regular gas can vary, but it's usually around 10%. Ethanol is a renewable fuel made from plant materials, such as corn. It's blended into gasoline to help reduce emissions and improve fuel economy. Some vehicles can run on pure ethanol, but most cars need a blend of ethanol and gasoline to run properly. The computer in your car will adjust for any blend up to 85% ethanol. Mixing E85 with 50% regular gas shouldn't be a problem. Some people are concerned that ethanol can damage engines, but the truth is, ethanol-blended gasoline has been in use for more than a decade, and there's no evidence that it causes any damage. In fact, 
using ethanol can actually help clean your engine and improve its performance. Can you mix E85 with regular gas? The short answer is yes, you can mix E85 with regular gasoline. The two fuels will blend together without any problems. However, there are a few things to keep in mind if you're going to mix the two fuels. First, make sure that your car can run on ethanol. Not all cars can, so check your owner's manual or contact the manufacturer if you're not sure. Second, be aware that using a higher percentage of ethanol can cause some problems. For example, if you use too much E85 in your tank, the engine may start knocking and pinging. This is because ethanol has more energy than regular gasoline and can overload the engine if it's not adjusted for it. Third, try to stick to a 50 50th mix of E85 and regular gas. This will help ensure that your car runs smoothly and doesn't experience any problems. Can mixing gas damage a flex fuel vehicle? There is no evidence that suggests that mixing gas can damage a flex fuel vehicle. In fact, using a blend of ethanol and gasoline is the best way to keep your car running smoothly. However, it's always a good idea to check with your car manufacturer to make sure that your vehicle can handle different blends of ethanol. Some cars are not able to run on anything other than pure gasoline, so it's important to know what kind of fuel your car needs. Using E85 in a flex fuel vehicle is a great way to reduce emissions and save money on fuel costs. Just be sure to mix the two fuels in the right proportions and you'll be good to go. What's an octane rating? An octane rating is a measure of a fuel's ability to resist knocking. Knocking is a sound that you'll hear when the air-fuel mixture in the cylinders is detonating in more than one place at a time. It's sort of like knocking on a door. Detonation can damage the engine, and it's important to use a fuel that has an octane rating high enough to resist it. Most regular gasoline has an octane rating of 87. E85 has an octane rating of around 100. Can E85 increase a non-flex car performance? There is a lot of debate over whether or not the E85 can increase the performance of a non-flex car. Some people say that it can, while others are convinced that it cannot. The truth is, there is no definitive answer. It depends on the make and model of the car, as well as the specific engine. Generally speaking, however, using E85 in a non-flex car is not likely to result in any significant performance gains. In fact, in some cases, it may even reduce performance. This is because E85 has less energy content than gasoline, about 33% less. So if your car isn't designed to run on E85, you may find that it doesn't perform as well when you switch to this fuel. There are a few things you can do to improve the performance of a non-flex car that is running on E85, however. One is to make sure that your engine is properly tuned for this fuel. You may also need to upgrade your engine components, such as the fuel system and the ignition system. And finally, you can increase the octane rating of your fuel by using an octane booster. This will help your car run more efficiently and achieve better performance. To summarize what we discussed in this video, you can mix E85 with regular gasoline without any problems. However, it's always a good idea to check with your car manufacturer to make sure that your vehicle can handle different blends of ethanol. Using a blend of ethanol and gasoline is the best way to keep your car running smoothly. And finally, Remember that using E85 in a non-flex car may not result in any significant performance gains. If you're looking for better performance, you may need to upgrade your engine components or use an octane booster. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.